look at a lot of uh, butterfly sweeps, attacks, half guard sweeps and attacks. There's something called butterfly half guard. We combine them, we can look at that. We also want to flip the coin and look at how to avoid the butterfly half guard, butterfly half guard position. But I want to start with standard butterfly sweep here. We're going to sweep into the side control, into the case of Gatami position, or the scarf fold position, and there's a nice tight arm lock. So the best thing for butterfly is Cliff's going to be down on his knees. This is really a low uh, sweeping position. So if my partner starts to stand up, we're going to have to start playing more open. If your partner wants to stay low, butterfly and half guard work very well. But normally I'm not gonna be within contact of cliffs, so we have to get there. And there's a reason why we do the reverse boot scoot in our intro classes, because this is where we use it. I have both my feet in front of me. I'm not flat on my butt, I lean to one side. As I lean to one side, my forward leg, that heel really digs into the mat, which allows me to scoot myself forward. My hands are here because I know Cliff wants to grab my pants, block my leg, get my jacket, choke me, do all sorts of things. So I need my hands ready to defend or grab. And what I'm going to do is as I scoot in, I'm looking to grab and control the inside here. So I can grab his collar, block his arm. This would be great if I wanted to throw him, but once I get here, this is just the first stage allowing me to get a little bit closer. This is okay, but if I ditch the collar and underhook him, this is better. I want to get in like I'm giving Cliff a big hug, reach across his back and pat him on the shoulder. My head goes to his shoulder and I have to make sure I stay underneath Cliff's head. Because if this changes and he gets his head below mine, go ahead and put your head here, he could just drive into me and knock me back to the mat. So I have to control the inside and stay low. Now I want to knock Cliff this way, but if we go that way, he's going to put his hand out. Okay, so before we go laterally, I need to take away his toes. And I like to reach outside the arm so I can get the elbow, and then I pull his arm to me. Okay, I want this arm, and I'm going to arm lock it later. So I make sure I put it between my elbow and my ribs. And then I don't want to accept all Cliff's weight on top of me, so when you fall, your knee is pointing where you want to take it. So I lean in that direction, staying close to Cliff, my shoulder's going to hit the ground, which allows me to lift, just like we did on our first throw. And as Cliff goes down to the ground, I don't want to go to mount. It is a possibility. This knee that lifted now cuts across his leg like a knee cut pass. My other leg comes up for stability, and then I old tiny baseball slide. Once I'm here, my ribs are on cliff, my elbows on the ground pinching in because I know he does have the possibility of just rolling me back this way. So I'm gonna make sure I stay heavy here. He also has the possibility of pushing my head back, swinging his leg over my head and this truck. <clears throat> so keep your head low. Okay? Might not uh, sweep you, might not arm lock you, but you're gonna feel your neck go crack, 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 crack. You're gonna feel it for days your head low just to avoid that pain. Now you can see I already have his arm trapped. I just need to shift my weight slightly. Right now it's on my butt. Shift it across Cliff's belly so it's on my elbow. That allows me to step over his head and then I walk this foot into place. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Until I get to that crook of the neck and shoulder. Then I can sit my weight back down. And then once I'm here, I just pinch my elbow in so his arm is straight. And if I need to, my hip pushes forward as my head and shoulders move back. That's gonna straighten the arm and I get a nice tight arm lock here. It's called the case of the arm lock. Right? We call it the shack bar in honor of a student, Nicole Shakaris, who used it all the time. But start here, just a little space between you and your partner, boot scoot forward, or reverse boot scoot forward, underhook, head is close to the chest, and control that arm. Once I'm in the go position, to the side. As I sweep him to the side, I'm lifting, once he falls, knee cuts across, and I'm in this case of the Tommy side control position. Now once I'm here, I'm not gonna let go of anything. I just shift my weight, 
step over Cliff's head, that I don't have to step over perfectly because I can fix it now. Toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, until I get where I want to go, sit my weight down. Right? Cliff will still try to get out of here, so you got to stay heavy. He might try to move his legs, so you might get banged in the head here with the knee. You got to keep your head low. And then nice and slow, extend and finish this on. Right? We got about eight minutes to practice this one. So grab a